next, it's one small step for education. Children with learning disabilities now get to train with tools used by astronauts at an educational service based in Thornhill. Our reporter Phoebe Ho headed over to Maximine Learning Centers to learn more about this space age technology. ADHD and some other learning disabilities are often treated with medication. Now in Vaughn today, MaxiMind is showing parents some very cool and effective methods to help their children focus in class. Video games are part of the lesson plan at MaxiMind. From a quick glance, it looks like any other video game, but it's actually a NASA-developed technology. With no mouse or keyboard, all this game requires is your brain and dead focus to control the orca and win points. MaxiMind is really a step forward in neuroeducation. It's about applying brain science to education and helping kids learn better in school. Whether they have learning disabilities or they have ADHD, or if they just want to improve their performance because they have to get up to the next level. MaxiMind's goal is to apply these technologies in what they call brain training exercises. But all of these things are kind of like band-aids because the learning disabilities are neurological. There's a problem in development. and We have to help these kids catch up in their neurological development. They've got all the abilities inside, but it's kind of locked up. So when they get the brain exercises, they get a level of brain fitness that just is sustained after the course is over. Gottfried says these brain exercises developed by scientists, psychologists, and doctors over the last two decades are not just effective, but also engaging. Actually, the methods we use look like fun and games. Uh, there's integrated listening system, which is engineered classical music delivered through bone conduction headphones. It's filtered and processed in different ways. It stimulates the brain to grow and develop. So you listen to music, and, your, and the music is attuned to your needs and it helps your brain to grow and develop. Dozens of parents and children got to try it out firsthand at an information session in Thornhill. They played the video game, juggled bean bags while balancing on a board, and listened to classical music to get a taste of the lesson plan. Nine-year-old Dexter couldn't get enough of it, especially the video game. I played everything, but first I played the sea brainwave game where you have to focus and then you go down and collect coins and it was fun, really fun. His mother Shirley Chan says she believes Dexter has ADD and is hoping something like this will pique his interest and help him concentrate in class. But when it comes to playing DS, video games, he's fully concentrated and this game sort of proved it all. So it would be interesting how he correlates this in terms of the other skills he has to help him improve to get his brain through games to focus and then hopefully apply it to everyday life. Most parents at the session are hoping to find an alternative method to treating their children's learning disabilities. I really don't like medications on principle. I prefer more uh, alternative ways you know, of uh, teaching yourself methods and uh, stuff like that. And I know things have worked for me, so I'm looking for things that will work for my son. Um, I'm sure there are, so I'm looking. <laughs> This is what an average session at MaxiMind looks like. Now, it might just look like I'm having fun, but by balancing on this board I'm standing on right now and hitting this tennis ball, what I'm doing is I'm training my brain to focus on more than one thing at a time, and I'm also developing my neurological connections. I'm Phoebe Ho, and that's York Region Living.